welcome to Genki Clinic. My name is Toby. In this video, I'm going to run through how you can make use of a towel like this to come in uh, on your neck very nice and easily uh, in a relaxed way, in a way that feels really good to start easing up any tightnesses, achiness, pain, uh, and what have you. This particular video, we're going to deal mostly with the forward and back or up and down motion like this that you can think of as, as nodding yes, like that. In the next video, I'm gonna start talking a little bit more about the rotational aspect of the neck, so moving from left to right like this. Okay. The first thing is actually the way that we're gonna hold the towel. We're actually gonna use the friction of the towel to, to provide most of the grip. So rather than squeezing very tightly and making a tight fist like this, we're actually just going to make a looseish fist onto the towel, as loose as possible with both hands, while still giving us enough uh, friction on there to be able to put a little bit of force through the towel onto the neck here. So as you can see, I've got just enough friction that actually, if I pull a little bit harder with this hand, it starts to slide off the towel. The reason for this is twofold. The first thing is that if we keep this nice and loose, it actually keeps all the muscles and the tendons and what have you loose in the forearm here. That transmits right up through into the shoulder and up into the neck, so we're already making sure that we've got as much of a relaxed uh, state as is possible. The second thing is that when the force is transmitted actually into the muscles of the neck here, uh, we want there to be a little bit of give and a little bit of sponginess. And if we keep uh, this nice and light over here on the hand, that will provide a certain amount of sponginess and if it were to get a little bit too tight at any point, actually this little bit of slippage that we've got here will uh, be like a safety net. Uh, we'll take out any of the tightnesses or the jerkiness here in the hand rather than imposing it on the neck. First thing is to actually hold on to the towel as we've described with very soft hands and actually, if possible, just to take the weight of our arms on the towel itself. Okay, so imagine someone was to come along with a giant pair of scissors and actually cut the towel here whilst you had your arms rested on it like that. Uh, what should happen basically is that your hand would just basically go like, like that, dropping away. Because you're not holding yourself up like this, you're just using the towel to rest. That's the kind of sense of the amount of force that we want to get in the initial phases anyway to, to come in here like this very, very light, very, very soft. We can always dial up the pressure later, but if we start nice and light, the neck will start to get comfortable with what we're doing and start to open up and let us in. But I'm giving you this idea up front so that you can just put that away there to give you, yourself a sense of the type of force that we're looking for. Just start to make a circle. This will be the, the center of the circle, the axis if you like, and we're just gonna rotate the arm around that axis. So both arms together, it's going to look a little bit like this, but I'm just pushing upwards like this. Uh, the same amount of weight that I've got on my arms there is just being continuously provided, but I'm just changing the angle going up like that. And we'll do it again here. Drop the shoulders, take the weight of the arms on the towel here, and just circle upwards like that. Circle upwards. As you start getting into a more vertical position around about here, you're going to start noticing that the towel will actually be able to slip a little bit along the skin. So it's catching a little bit with the friction, but just as the angle changes like this and we start to get uh, closer to the angle of the neck itself, a more sort of vertical angle, the towel will just start to slip a little bit along it like this, just up, catching the skin of the neck like that and just pulling it up a little bit. What we're looking for with this technique is to make use of that slippage and the ability of the towel to sort of nestle in and catch and transmit not only on the skin, but also to kind of catch in uh, and start working on the muscles, kind of dragging the length of the muscles upwards. Always getting this sense of lengthening the back of the neck and allowing the chin to be slightly dropped on, dropped forwards like this, as if you've just finished the downward portion of a of a yes, saying yes, just dropping there. So we're just inching upwards, just a little bit like that, each time coming a little bit higher, 
don't use too much force and remember to keep the hands nice and soft and you can take as long about this as you like if you reach one area where it feels pretty good stay there usually I like to get get the towel actually above my ears okay in this position if I lift the angle of the towel above the horizontal like that then I can get a, a bit of upward traction on the back of the neck lengthening at the back lengthening at the back like that allow your neck to be lengthened upwards with the head rotating very slightly forward it's best to start nice and light even what I've just done now in front of you actually already feels like I've got a nice lengthened neck like this there's no point in coming in doing too much all that will happen is that your neck and the muscles there will actually respond by contracting tighter in future if they feel that they need to protect themselves we can actually use the friction of the towel uh, to kind of smear and drag we call it dragging maybe dragging along just pulling up slightly through the surface of the skin and catching on the muscles underneath it you'll see what I mean if you give it a quick try like this I'll show you up front so I get it up to about here and now you could probably see yep yeah, the towels beginning to slide up the back of the neck sliding up yeah I'm just allowing it over my ears Yeah, even into the head there what you can do as well it doesn't have to be absolutely up the center of the back of the neck you can change the angle of attack just by pulling over slightly on deck like this yeah and now what I've done is I've gone through the muscles uh, on the back left here if I was to do this one on the other side just dragging it up yeah and dragging it up on the muscles on the back of the right there so you've got two systems there one is the circular motion just massaging in uh, each vertebra moving up second one there is the smearing or dragging technique just dragging the towel up uh, and you can do that as slowly or as fast as you like obviously the more weight that you use on the towel uh, the deeper in that the towel is going to kind of bite into the muscles the softer the more that you can just do it on the surface of the skin they all have their value what you want to do is play around with them and just be aware that you can use the tool in these different ways okay the third technique we're going to look at is actually like an isometric isometrics basically means that I'm using force but there's no movement if I put my hand on this wall and, and start trying to push it away from me here like this of course I'm starting to feel forces up through my arm and down through the rest of my body into my feet but there's no movement that's an isometric uh, the isometric can be very useful particularly in the neck because it means that we can get our muscles to contract get a little bit of strengthening and actually uh, get them to maybe straighten up their fibers by the fact that they're contracting but we can maintain the joints in a very safe position which if you've got neck pain or neck tightnesses or or problems with the vertebra uh, you don't have to go into areas where the body automatically tries to protect itself this time rather than focusing on the towel we're going to focus on the area at the back of the neck there where the where the towel contacts and we're going to imagine that we're trying to push back against it like that all right but of course the towel is here and it's preventing that motion I recommend that you dial up the force a little bit by a little bit so then you can get a nice gradual application think about letting go and relaxing the shoulders as you do it You'll get a very pleasant feeling as if you're just as if you're actually leaning back against a pillow almost but remember we're trying to keep this length at the back so we've got that pillow feeling sense of traction and then I'm going to just start dialing up the force pushing backwards pushing backwards and if I keep going you're going to see I can dial up the force so that the towel starts to slip in my hands why am I doing that so that I can ensure that I'm not using too much force here in my hands like that uh, an image you could work with maybe is a fire hose uh, what we want is a fire hose that's full of water and is under pressure so that if you try and bend it you get a nice curve like that that fire hose without the water in it it can just kink over like this obviously in our case we're thinking about the movement of blood lymph uh, nervous tissue and right in the very middle the the spinal cord uh, so we want to keep those uh, structures nice and supported while still being able to get the flexibility out of the structure of the neck that we're looking for obviously with the isometric you can shift the angle of the head 
from right forward here all the way back to here and do the same thing that we did uh, that we did with the kind of smearing and dragging technique you can bring your hands to one side while still keeping the head forward remember keep those shoulders relaxed and keep the hands relaxed and again I'm just dialing up the pressure a little bit here now keeping that idea of the hose pipe and just increasing the pressure got a very pleasant sense of this muscle down the back of the neck on the right here uh, getting nice a nice contraction but very very safe everything feels warmed up through there now with all of these techniques I'm giving you the kind of basic uh, parameters to work with but in the end you have to play around with the tile yourself and start to feel what feels really good uh, please bear in mind your neck is a very very sensitive area uh, these tools if you're going to make use of them please come in nice and slowly please make sure that you watch the earlier videos to understand the neck position and how to stay safe with that uh, but yeah please go for it uh, and see what you can do to really enjoy uh, loosening up your neck in the next video i'm going to start looking at techniques for how we can really start to get this kind of motion going but for now if you work on this motion first then the rotational movement movement is going to open up in a much much easier way thanks so much for watching this video if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments section down below uh, it'd be great to hear from you uh, and it means other people can also benefit if uh, some interesting stuff comes up all right uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye bye for now